1215 here. Our temperatures have climbed in uh, significantly since earlier this morning. 39 now in Burlington, 38 degrees in Flatsburg. Same with Saranac Lake, 34 in Montpelier and St. J. 40 degrees now in Bennington. We did lose our sunshine. Those clouds have increased and we, the sun did help us warm up at first. But of course, now that those clouds are moving in, it's all up to the wind, which is doing a pretty good job. Right now, it's at about 17 to 18 miles per hour in the Champlain Valley out of the south and southeast. And again, that's just pulling in some of that warmer air. Uh, and there are those clouds. You can see them from Colchester. It is quite overcast now compared to the bluebird skies that we saw earlier this morning. It's definitely quite a difference, but at least it's starting to warm up. And um, this is warm air all ahead of our next system. There are those clouds, of course, filling out for everyone. You might get a little sunny moments here or there later on this afternoon but it won't be many of them. It was earlier this morning that sunshine brought to us by the high pressure system now moving out to our east and kind of falling out. Then we've got this in, uh, increase in clouds thanks to the new system to our west. It's ahead of it pulling in the nice warm air, but it is going to bring a chance for some showers late tonight as that system continues to pass on through and it sort of falls apart as it does. So it's not really going to have a huge impact on our temperatures, but it is going to bring some of those, those rain showers to us. Let's first talk about temperatures again right now in Burlington 39 degrees, which is a big jump compared to this morning and yesterday afternoon. Then you look a little bit further south and west and you've got that very warm warm air that they've seen over the Midwest for the last several days. 60 in Chicago and Indianapolis right now, 66 in Charleston. That warm air is slowly creeping towards us. It's still going to take a couple days, but we're going to be up close to that 50 degree mark for uh, by later on this week, and we'll have another chance at that 50 degree mark uh, as we head into the weekend. It has already been a pretty incredibly warm month, but we are again going to see those above average temperatures after yesterday, a little bit of a cool down. This afternoon, a couple more degrees to go until we reach about that 43 degree mark. That wind is going to be strong at times, kind of how it is right now, but it is out of the south, which is helping us to warm up. Let's get to your future cast. I mentioned a little bit of sunshine later on this afternoon, but not much as those clouds continue to fill out. And then it does come along with some rain. As you can see here on Futurecast, it's nothing very heavy. You're going to find maybe some spotty showers, light to moderate at very most. And you're also going to find some mix in our mountains and if you are east of the Green Mountains. Futurecast not showing a lot of ice here, but it is possible that you might get a quick little glaze in a few spots of that ice, especially the further east that you are with some colder air sticking around there a little bit longer. It's quick as it makes its way through and tomorrow we're going to start off with some clouds, some sun. We'll have a mix of both, but it is mostly dry on your Wednesday. You're seeing a couple spotty showers, but I don't think any of those will arrive until about Thursday when we see another system make its way into our area. So the next couple of days are going to be busy with a couple different systems that are going to continue to pass on through. First of all, we've got that warm air returning uh, over the next couple of days as we continue to rise up towards that 50 degree mark on Thursday. Heading into Friday and into the weekend, we do of course have a couple more shots at the rain because we are expecting temperatures to be on uh, on the rise al along with a couple different systems that are going to continue to move through. That is going to just provide a chance for rain on Thursday, a little bit of that on Friday, but a better chance on Saturday as we see a cold front pass through. It is going to provide some heavier showers uh, for the second part of Saturday and then it's going to bring a cool down right behind.